number one ethical treatment, every realtor must adhere to a strict code of ethics, which is based on professionalism and protection of the public. As a realtor, as a realtor's client, you can expect honest and ethical treatment in all transaction-related matters. The first obligation to you is the client. Okay, so I think uh, I think a lot of people don't they don't know that they they think real estate agent, licensed real estate agent, and realtor are the same. Um, they're not. If you're a part of the National Association of Realtor Realtors, and our our team is every agent in our team is, um, you are uh, a part of an association that has a strict code of ethics that you adhere to that you agree to, um, which means as a client when you're working with a realtor you can expect this same ethical treatment. Number two, an expert guide. Buying a home usually requires dozens of forms. Oh, good grief. Let's talk about the forms. Let's talk about the, the paperwork. Everyone that. loves forms. So I think paperwork. the amount of paperwork has probably quadrupled in the last 20 years. I mean, it is a massive amount of paperwork. There's There's some builders out there right now, folks, that their purchase agreements are nearly a hundred pages. A hundred pages. Uh, that's that's a lot of paperwork. Um, so when buying a home, we've got reports, disclosures, other technical uh, documents, and knowledge. Uh, knowledgeable expert will help you prepare the best deal and avoid delays and costly mistakes. With all that paperwork, mistakes are made all the time by agents that are uh, that are not top agents, that are not experienced agents. Uh, all of the paperwork is is so important, and on the mortgage side as well. When I got into this business in June of '04, our disclosure package back then was 12 pages long. Now a conventional disclosure package is 46, <laughs> and an FHA is 52. <laughs> yeah, quadrupled. It has quadrupled. It's uh, it's all government stuff. I yes. mean, at one point there was actually a form that went out that you would sign at closing saying that you. Uh, you verify that you have enough money to make your first payment because there were so many first payment defaults, meaning that you default on the loan before you even made one payment on the loan ba- that back in the yeah. right in the back yeah. in the wild, wild west, right? Oh, five, oh, six, oh, seven. That was actually one of the things you signed at closing. Crazy. It's not that way anymore, obviously. But anyway, the point being 12 pages back then. 52 now. (laughs) That's a lot of paperwork. Number three, objective information and opinions. Realtors can provide local information on utilities, zoning, schools, and more. They also have objective information about each property. Realtors can use that data to help you determine if the property has what you need. By understanding both your needs and search area, you can also point out neighborhoods you don't Uh, know much about and you want more information on number four expanded search power sometimes properties are available but not actively advertised realtor can help you find opportunities not listed on the different home sites that are not on the mls folks uh, this is a great point we have worked with more buyers and sellers we we have um, helped more buyers and sellers in the last couple years buy and sell homes that are not on the MLS. Um, we have a large off-market list of homes for sale. We have a, a, a large number of buyers that, that want property that's not on the MLS, that, that uh, isn't available to everybody else. And so um, we also have very aggressive strategies on how to acquire properties that are not only not on the MLS, but aren't currently for sale. Um, we, we do door knocking. You got a neighborhood that you want to live in, we will go door to door and knock on every door in that neighborhood, find out if anyone's interested in selling. We will do advertising. We will do mailers. We will be, we will be aggressive in finding a seller that wants to sell sometime in the relatively near future uh, if you want to be in that neighborhood. So these are, you know, that off market list of homes that we have for sale, the ability to be and, and desire and willingness to be aggressive on finding sellers that are willing to sell that that's what you're going to get with a top team and, and top realtors and it's uh, n- number five negotiation knowledge there are many factors up for discussion in a deal a realtor will look at every angle from your perspective including crafting a purchase agreement that allows enough time for you to complete inspections and investigation of the property before you are bound to complete the purchase so important folks the the details of the offer 
Number one, are you protected as a buyer? Number two, is the offer written in a way that gives you the highest likelihood of the seller accepting your offer? And if there's multiple offers, is it going to put you to the top of the list? Are you partnered with the right mortgage professional that the seller sees, oh, yep, I got a pre-approval letter here from Mike Overson's team, not worried about the financing at all. Or, oh, look, I got a pre-approval letter from Jimmy Call Center out of Yaya Loans in <laughs> California. Yeah, I believe he's going to get it done. Yaya Loans. <laughs> yep. it, it, it's so important. It's so important, folks. I can't tell you how many deals that my team gets accepted in any given year because Mike Overson and his team are the lending partner. I mean, that is the reason. Um, that is the tilting point. It's like, we know Mike. We know it's going to get done. It's a finance deal, but it's as good as cash because if he's got them pre-approved, it's going to happen. It's so, so important to have that partnership. Number six on the list, up-to-date experience. Uh, most people not only... Uh, buy only a few houses in their lifetime. I uh, usually, uh, there's quite a few years in between. And it is so important, folks, to, it, it's so important to be working with not only an experienced top agent, but a full-time experienced top agent. The, the real estate, every August in Minnesota, Minnesota Association of Realtors updates the forms. The forms, which by the way, you know, you're talking somewhere between 35 and 50 pages to the typical real estate uh, contract and all, all the additional addendums. What's on those forms? Are you up to date with what's on the forms? Do you understand what the forms are? You as a buyer or a seller, you're signing a legally binding contract. Does your agent understand and can they clearly explain what those forms mean? Um, up to date experience is so important in real estate. That's why it's number six on this list. Number seven, your rock during emotional moments. Your rock during emotional moments. A home is so much more than four walls and a roof. And for most people, uh, property uh, represents the biggest purchase they'll ever make. Having a, concern, a concerned but objective third party, your top real estate agent, um, helps you stay focused on the issues most important to you. This is really important, folks. Look, it's an emotional event, right? Selling your house the packing, the moving, the, all the memories that you have in the house, buying a house, it is an emotional event. Your top real estate agent and top mortgage professional, they need to take the emotion out, they need to be objective, and they need to get you through the transaction. Yep. So, I mean... I mean, And and hopefully, it's, it's ha more happy emotions, yes. right? That's an emotion. It can be a happy deal. Buyer getting their first house, happy emotions there. Seller, you know... If you have the family, if you've got all the memories in there, obviously you reminisce a little bit, stuff like that, but you're hopefully moving on to your next house. Yep. That's a happy event as well. The whole goal there is to make that transaction as smooth as possible. If that happens, you've hired the right people on our team. Yes. If that doesn't happen, you haven't. Yes, you haven't. Let let us, that's part of our job is let us deal with the the, the bad emotion stuff. Yep. You go enjoy the good emotion stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've seen um, agents that, you know, there's an issue that comes up, right? And you've got, you've got an emotional buyer and you've got an emotional seller and, and they're, they're making, they're reacting based on their, how they, how they feel on their emotions. But maybe it's, maybe it's a two, $300 issue. Right. Right. And I've seen agents let that deal fall apart over two or 300 bucks because they get wrapped up in the emotional, yeah, the emotions of both buyer and seller. You got to have someone that can stand back and say, okay, let's, let's, let's really look at what we're talking about here. Are you going to not want to have this sale closed for two or 300 bucks? No, you don't. You right. don't as a buyer, you don't as a seller. As an agent, if buyers and sellers, if, if it is that important to them, we're just going to pay it. We're going to take care of it and make sure that, that it happens. Because